League of Legends consistently tops the list of most addictive games to play. It's a game where you can be told to go kill yourself, but still leave having a good time. So today we want to talk about what makes League of Legends so addicting and what you can do about it. If you're new here, my name is Cam and I was addicted to playing video games for about 10 years. I'm not against gaming, but I am here to share some ideas for you to consider in order to keep gaming into a more balanced thing or if you want to move on for good. We have a community called Game Quitters and you can check all the links for that below. If you're playing League of Legends, but you find yourself wanting to move on or you're struggling to quit, then this video is here to help you. If you find yourself grinding hours after hours and you still aren't any closer to moving on from silver and you want to move on to some other things in your life, then that's what this video is here to help you do. Despite everything bad about League of Legends, including just how toxic the game can be, it is the most popular game in the world. Over 27 million people play it every single day, and that's significantly larger than Fortnite, which is 10 million, even though Fortnite gets a lot of attention. So why League of Legends then? What makes this game so insanely popular and addictive? As it turns out, the game is designed to manipulate you in order to continue to play it. Now, these mechanics aren't necessarily unique just to League. They are in a lot of different games, but League tends to be a really potent combination of them. The first mechanic that makes League addicting is that it's free. Similar to Fortnite, the fact that the game is free makes it very accessible to play. And unlike other more modern games, League of Legends doesn't take a supercomputer to run. In fact, just a simple laptop will do. Now, it'd be pointless if they made the game free and accessible to everyone and then made it difficult to learn. Unsurprisingly, Riot, who make the game, aren't idiots. Oh, hell no! <laughs> and so the thing that makes it addicting as well, the, the second feature of League that makes it addicting is that it's incredibly easy to learn. As soon as you boot up the game, you have tutorials to help you learn the different mechanics and exactly how to play. And although it can seem a bit daunting to jump into a game, once you do, you do begin to make progress rather quickly. Before you know it, you're landing skill shots, defeating champions, and securing kills. League is always the perfect blend between too easy and too hard. You're usually playing with people of a similar skill level, which means the game is never boring. Occasionally, you'll have a game where you'll just stomp the other team and finish in under 20 minutes, but often the games go longer than that. And that makes the game rewarding. You have rewards just for logging in that day. You have rewards for completing a game and it gets the ball rolling and it gets the people really just spending time when they don't want to. And I'm, I'm guilty of this myself. The game League of Legends has the system where if you win a game that day, you get some extra points for to buy a new, new, new character. And there were days when I came home from my practice and I would be at 11 in the night and I, I didn't want to play a game, I wanted to go to bed. But I was like, oh, there's this reward. If I play just one game and if I win it, I get these extra points. And I would lose that game. But like, I really need those points now. I play another game and sometimes it would be like three or four games that I finally won. And it would be two in the morning and I'd be sitting there like, I didn't want to do this. I was, I was, I think I was tricked. So, so you were addicted? Addicted. I, I would say so, yes, I would say so. Now, while the game is easy to learn, it's hard to master. The mechanics are always changing, the meta is shifting, and players are always improving. Playing against bots gets boring really quick, and you're competitive. And the ranking system is there to really help you be able to do that. Ultimately, League of Legends is extremely competitive, and that's what really keeps you hooked playing the game. Now, although ranking systems are very common in a lot of different games, what makes League a bit more unique is the time investment. If you're playing CSGO, the average game in matchmaking is going to be about 60 to 90 minutes, whereas in League, it's going to be 20 to 30 minutes. League being about 20 to 30 minutes is almost the perfect amount of time to give you an idea that if you play and you win, you can win another game and you can progress, but if you lose, you can just try again and it's not going to ruin your whole evening. What will ruin your whole evening though is the toxicity of your teammates. But if you play with random people and you do something poorly, they will just abuse you verbally right. and it's, it's, it's a lot of abuse and I think I had to stop playing League of Legends because of this. I was very competitive in the game 
and I just couldn't take the stress of every game. Like after every game, my, my heart rate would be elevated. I would be very stressed. I'd be shaking after each game because of the things people say to you. You know, you, you could, let's say, you, you die in the game, and people would just tell you to kill yourself because you were so terrible at the game. And this was a very common occurrence. This was almost every game. Now, League is competitive, but it's also very social, and you do tend to play with your friends. You've all got your specific roles that you like to play. You have a great bot lane partnership, and you have an expert on your team who's really good at coordinating ganks. Sometimes playing with a five-man made of friends is a disaster. It's like watching monkeys try to solve a Rubik's Cube. However, that time that you get it right, when you find that rhythm, it's an experience that's unlike anything else. You're communicating effectively, the action is fast-paced, and you win game after game. And nothing really competes with that, especially not going for dinner with your family or sitting through another boring series on Netflix with your girlfriend. And of course, I don't need to mention homework, which is almost the most excruciatingly boring thing you could do compared to playing League of Legends. When all your friends play League, it makes you want to play more and more and more. And because of the way League is designed, 5v5, very social, very competitive, a ranking system, it makes it more compelling to keep you playing more and more and more, not just now, but for years into the future. Now, I'll be honest, League of Legends is a great game, and that's what makes it so addicting. Now, to some of you, that might sound surprising for me to say that League is a great game, but the truth is that it is a great game. Counter-Strike is a great game. World of Warcraft is a great game. It doesn't have to be that these are bad games, but it is important to identify how they're designed to make sure that that helps you develop more awareness so you can align yourself in your life to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. And if gaming plays a role in that, great. And if it's contributing negatively to you accomplishing your goals and living a productive life and being happy and being fulfilled and having good relationships, then yes, you want to step away. League is constantly updated. The game changes regularly. It has a thriving esports scene. League is a great game. That doesn't mean that I want to play it. That doesn't mean that you need to play it, but we can recognize a game for what it is. League won't stay as the best game forever, but for the time being, it is currently at the top and it is designed in a way to keep you playing it. So I hope that today's list has helped bring some awareness for you as to what those specific mechanics are. And I hope that that helps you be able to identify more of them, to be able to be more mindful of how you play League in the future or to empower you to say, you know what? It's time to move on and I'm done for good. And if that's you, then we do have a program called Respawn to help you quit gaming. And you can check the links for that in the comments below. And I'm also curious to hear from you. Have you found yourself playing League more and more and more and been unable to stop? Or have you stopped playing League and what actually helped you do that? Share that in the comments below. I always love to hear from you. I love to hear your comments and what your experience is. Is it similar to mine? Is it different? If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share the video with someone, come interact with me on Twitter. My name is Cam. As always, thanks so much for being here and thanks for supporting Game Quitters. And I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.